Well, hello. Today we are setting up for September. Finally. Am I cutting it a little close to my deadline? Yeah, absolutely. I've got two days left in August, so it is definitely time to get set up for this beautiful month, which you can already see a little hint of what this theme is. It is mushrooms. The sticker that inspired it all is this little lady. She is from the Cartoon Girl pack of washi stickers that I use a lot, and I've been hanging onto this one for ages. This is really what I wanted to use it for. So we're going to go ahead and start laying some stuff out. I'm thinking I kind of want her to be up here. And I was thinking about putting some of my, maybe like that little guy right here and just beefing it out with some mushrooms. But I do have all of these cute dudes and they're getting up to a variety of cute things. There are more mushrooms in here than I thought there was. So that's nice and also some cute snails and stuff. So I'm really enjoying that. This little guy is so adorable. Maybe I kind of want to pop it right there. <gasps> Aww, isn't that so nice? That ah, cute. Okay, let's see. So I've got this little dude who I am loving. I kind of maybe want to put him here and do one of my big mushrooms in the corner. That would be pretty cute. Let's see, we've also got this little guy who has got an adorable umbrella. I might put him right in the middle. <gasps> Actually, I think I'm gonna put the bear with some tea in the middle because he is so stinking cute. Let's see. Okay, we've got little mushrooms right here. We've got some insects. We've got this super cute little snail dude. I think maybe he's gonna chill over here. Or, actually, no, he's going to go here with this mushroom. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, adorable. I do definitely want him to go there. I really love snails and slugs, actually. They're all just so cute. We used to live in an apartment complex that had, like, snails up the wazoo. It, not snails, slugs. Slugs up the wazoo. Like, you really had to keep an eye out for them because you were gonna take down a slug if you were not really paying attention. I think maybe, oh, he can be sitting next to a little thing of mushrooms. That's very cute. I've also got some flowers, these little mushrooms. Oh my gosh, there's way more mushrooms than I thought. Okay, very cool. Well, let's see. Let me take this one. I think for this guy, we're gonna go in with the big, I think we're gonna go in with the big yellow ones right here and start plopping stuff down. Oh yeah, okay. You can kind of live here with them. Mm-hmm, yep, that's pretty cute. Maybe these little dudes can go there. Yeah. I think we will take these guys. And they can go right there. And then you can kind of come in right here Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Super cute little dude. I probably don't want to use all of these right at this very moment. Maybe I want to save like these two guys or something for my weekly pages so that I have something going on there that's pretty cute. Okay. Got a little bit of overlap, but that is a okay. Oh my gosh, so cute. I do think maybe we need a little mushroom. Like this little guy right here. Oh yeah, very cute. Loving that a lot. Maybe we could get a bird in here. Ooh, got some butterflies. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, let's see. I do really like this guy coming in here. Actually, let me pop her down because I do definitely want her to be there. There we go. I'm gonna scoot it over a little bit, kind of like coming in. Well, I don't really want to cover up September, so let's see. Where is September? Right there. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. I'm liking that. That is nice. 
I don't really know where I want to put this little dude. He is, I mean, just too adorable. I guess I could put him here, like he's coming in. Ooh, he could be over here, coming to say hello to the other guy. Ah, <gasps> yeah. I think that's, he's gonna be saying hello over here. Oh my goodness. The two little dudes are saying hello to each other. Ugh. It's, it's too adorable. Okay, I think I'm gonna put these little guys right here. And I do still have more of my guys. Oh, I did want that one to be up there. So we're just gonna pop this guy in right here. Hmm, maybe like a little, I think maybe this little guy. Actually, he's a little bit too big to go right there. So maybe I can tuck him like right in the corner. Yeah, got him, cute. Okay, so I will take this little squat dude and he can go right here. So fit him perfectly. Oh yeah, that's nice, okay. I could actually put the, oh, that's very cute. Hmm. I do like that quite a bit. I also have all of this to work with up here, so. I might do that little guy right there. Does it really make sense to have that there? Not specifically. And then we could do some leaves kind of falling in. Oh, and a little flower. I kind of like that. That's pretty cute. Maybe this guy instead. Oh. Yeah, okay. I'm feeling that. I'm liking that. I'm liking this dude over here. I wonder if maybe I should move this. Mm, uh, nope, that's too much. Okay. I think we're going to stick with this guy over here. But... Maybe a little blue mushroom? I could do this guy. Hmm. Could do a little yellow mushroom over here. Okay, you know what? Let's put these guys down, because I feel good about that. I very much want it to be full. I am so ready for it to not be super hot like this anymore. Although, you know, we're in Florida, and so I am moving right into like the most active time period for hurricanes. Actually, Ida just hit Louisiana as a very, very strong category four, which is terrifying. But historically, this has really been sort of like a, a good time for hurricanes to come rolling through this area. And uh, actually, my senior year of high school was the year that we got hurricanes back to back to back. It was wild. We had three in a row the school year was delayed starting by, oh, I don't know, a month or two. It was chaos. We had no power, no water because we were on a well, or we're on a well system at my mom's house. And it was a, it was a warm time. That is for sure. Oh, I think maybe I kind of want to put this little guy right here. Oh, too cute. Okay. I might also do like a little, kind of like a little heart over here. I do have a couple of other little guys. Mm, they're kind of dark though. I don't really know how I feel about that for this set. What else did I have pulled aside? I had these little things, which are not mushrooms, but are sort of fall appropriate. And I don't actually really think they match the the feel of what I'm going for. So yeah, I don't think those quite work. Cute set, but not maybe for this. Hmm. I'm feeling this so far. I do have these little guys, which are very cute. And then I'm kind of leaning towards Maybe just doing like a whole bonanza of mushrooms down here. I think maybe a little dude up here would be a good idea. 
So I've got this little guy or I've got that little guy. He's gonna kind of get in the way, I think. So let's go with this little one right here. Oh yeah, that's very cute. I like that a lot. I might just take this and do like a little, hmm. Maybe like a little leery thing over here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. This is, this is tough. Okay. I'm feeling this over here. So I think I'm just going to go with... Oh, I could put that up there. Do a little something something in the middle. Up top. Hmm. Is that too much? Let's clean this up real quick. Yeah, I kind of like that up there. Because then I can keep this down here and kind of intersperse it with some of my mushrooms. Yeah. And it's not gonna look quite so crazy. I mean, it's, well, you know what? It's gonna look crazy. It just is. It is what it is. I wanna keep that dude here. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that guy now. But I could just do like a mushroom, but yeah, we're gonna take one of these. And I think we're gonna take this little guy because I am kind of running out of space. Down here. But I do want it to be pretty heavy on the mushroom situation. Oh yeah, I like that. Maybe we'll do a little bit of some leaves coming in because I do very much want it to be oh yeah I like that that's really nice okay let's do that the first day of fall is in September so I am real jazzed about that But one year, well, actually it was the, my senior year in high school for one of the hurricanes. And I can't remember which one it was that came through. It was like Charlie, Janine, and there was some other one. But during one of them, my mom had like a lapse in judgment and let me stay at a friend's house for the hurricane, which was wild. I was so surprised that she let me do that. So it was me and my boyfriend at the time, and our really good friend, and we stayed at the friend's house. And I don't remember his parents being there. I remember it just being me, my boyfriend at the time, the friend, and the friend's sister. And I think I was 17 at this time. All of us were 17. His sister was 14, maybe. She was younger. And it was basically just unsupervised teenagers for the duration of this hurricane. <laughs> and it was ridiculous. I mean, you know, we were fine. We didn't, like, go out in the middle of the storm, mostly. I mean, we went out briefly, but not, you know, when the eye hit, we went out. But, you know, it was sort of like early cell phone days. And my cell phone did not make it through the night. We didn't have power. My mom couldn't get a hold of me the next morning to make sure that everything was okay. You know, we did drive over to my house and like the whole driveway was blocked because a bunch of trees were down. And so we had to leave the car at the road and kind of like hike up. And when we got there, my mom was so distraught. And she looked at me, she was like, we are never doing this again, ever. And I was like, I'm surprised you let me do it once. <laughs> so. That was super fun. And then for the hurricane after that, she sent me to, me and my younger sister, to my brother's house in Claremont. And, because it's more inland. And uh, so, you know, a little bit safer for the next big hurricane that came through. And that was just miserable. Love my brother, love my family, but it was me, my brother, my younger sister, my dad, my brother's wife, and their two children, all of us in one small house. And it was just, we were on top of each other. 
everybody was losing their tempers left and right. I was an angsty, emotional teenager. Nobody wanted to be around me. And, uh, yeah, it was just, uh, it was a really rough time. And so when the storm had finally passed, it wasn't like all the way through. There were still tornado warnings going through and the winds were still really high and it was still raining, but like the worst of it was over. And I basically was like, I gotta, I gotta go. I have to, I have to leave. And so I got, my dad was like, oh, you know what I'm gonna go to? And so he and my sister drove in my dad's car. And then I took my car, which was a 1987 Chevy El Camino. And we drove on the highways from Claremont all the way to where we live. And it was one of the most terrifying drives I have ever been on. The winds was so, the winds were so strong, it was pushing my car all over the place. And it was really just a really, really scary drive coming back. Um, we definitely should not have been on the roads at those times. I'm actually kind of surprised that nobody stopped us and was like, hey, get off the roads. There's a curfew in place, but I don't remember anybody doing that. And, you know, we did make it home and everything was fine, but yeah. Hurricanes are serious business, is I guess really, you know, what that is coming down to. I think I'm gonna leave this little heart right here. Maybe a little heart and a little blue mushroom on top. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. And then we'll take this little guy and just like bloop, right there. Yeah, I like that. I do have a little empty spot right here, but you know, I mean, you don't need something in every location. Or do you? I don't know. I think maybe I do. I'm going to go with this red guy. We're going to pop him down. And then I think we'll take this little guy. Or... Actually, I think we'll take the little blue one. I don't have anything blue down here, so that'll be a nice little... Okay. Got that little guy, and then maybe we'll take this little guy. Stick him right in there. Perfect. Okay. Now I just need to go in and trim up my pages real quick. I barely have anything sticking off, but just in a couple places. And of course, you know, as a kid, you don't really have any concept of like how dangerous these things can be, but now as an adult, like, oh man. I do not. I've been through a few of them and I don't particularly want to go through more of them. Small ones, fine, whatever. Big ones, oh no, that's, that's super scary. Okay, so we are, I think, you know what, feeling pretty done. I'm gonna go in and pop in my thing for my big monthly tasks. I am not gonna do a no spend tracker here like I did in August because I just never remember that I have trackers here or anywhere outside of my weekly pages. So I am just gonna leave that and not worry about it. we are going to let that dry. So I used this brown mild liner for my color in my weekly pages, and it's just not really the vibe that I am going for. So I am going to switch it to this Tombow Mono Drawing Pen. Uh, this is 942. I don't, I think maybe it's tan is the color, but it's more of like a creamy, tanny brownie color as opposed to like a cool toned brown and so this is a little bit more keeping with what I want to have for my planner this go around and so I am going to go ahead and just highlight everything it is a little light but I mean I can see it in person just fine okay 
So I've got all of those. One thing that I am going to do is I have these holiday stickers by the Coffee Monsters Co. And there is a first day of autumn, which is on the 22nd. And so I am going to pop into the weekly pages real quick. And just on the 22nd, I'm going to pop down this little first day of autumn. Because that is cause to be excited. First day of autumn. Yay! Super fun. Love it. Okay, moving back to here. We are looking pretty good. All right, so I think that is pretty much that. We are looking very full, very fall and mushroomy and appropriate and ready for a new month. So I think that is pretty much that. So I hope that this was lovely and that y'all have a wonderful September. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, other things that I'm getting up to in my planner, subscribe, come back, check on me. That would be wonderful. I would love that. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.